<coughs> hey, some review of a Microtech Ultratech I got. The OTF, I think it's probably the best one I've ever seen. It's uh, the bayonet steer. It's got the bayonet blade on it. That's all they had left. They've been sold out of everything. It's pretty big. Like I got a uh, Trodon here too, and it's much bigger than that. I like the Ultratech better. But they're snappy as hell. Like, shoot it in and out really easy. It's like it's not as hard as you think. It's got the glass breaker on that side. This little guy. But I lost this. I was <coughs> riding my dirt bike back in the woods. It was gone for about three months. That's why I bought this one to replace it. But I I found it the other day. It's been freaking raining and the only way I found it was all the wheat died back there and I saw this sticking out of the ground. I was happy as hell. But I, I bring it to work every day. I, I do garage doors and construction. I'm constantly beating on it. Like it'll it'll hack it. And the lockup's good for an OTF. Like you can barely really wiggle it. it never it never really freezes either. Like only if it gets like a lot of sheetrock or some rough shit down there, or concrete, it'll it'll get a little slow. Like it won't deploy. Like even if it does get stuck, it just off to the races. The only thing I don't like about it is these stupid screws they build it with. I think it's to keep Momo is like me out of it so it doesn't break, but you gotta buy their own bit to get it. And it got a little bit loose, like I had to tighten it, you had to make like a makeshift bit for it out of nails. It's the only bootleg thing, but you never really I, I really used the hell out of this and I've had it for over a year and it was lost for three. And it deployed when it after I picked it up off the ground too. Like, it holds a good edge too. It's L Max. You can really beat on it before you gotta sharpen it again. I think it's badass.